another career interview for us today and we have Renee Jackson with the Cape Girardeau Public Library. I'm going to pass it on over to her and she's going to share more information about her career and what she did to get to where she is now. All right hi guys so I um when I went to college I just knew I was going to be a teacher I just knew it I knew it I knew it I knew it, I knew it, and then I didn't like the classes, and I changed majors, and I changed majors, and seven majors later, I got a degree, a Bachelor of General Studies, and with that, uh, I've, done, I've done many things, but through this job at the Cape Public Library, I am in youth services. I'm a staff member here. I do story times. I do outreach. Um, I meet up with uh, agencies like uh, Big Brother, Big Sister and, get, um, and, and try to get out in the community. And um, so, yeah, that's, that's a little of what I do. Awesome. So I you, there. Yeah, you tied in kind of your education background. So when you're looking at, you know, literacy and working at a library, are there any additional certifications or courses that you need to take? And what does that look like? Yeah. Okay. So to start out in our library would be to volunteer. And that is from like age 13 up. That's not a paid position. It's just a, you know, getting your foot in the door kind of thing or getting volunteer hours if you have those through your school, which a lot of students do. Um, the, the jobs that have, that need, well, okay. So here in youth services, uh, Brenda, who has been here for 35 years, um, has schooling, but not a degree, um, a college degree. So, but she has been here. She got uh, started here coming as a parent, bringing her children, her two daughters, um, for story times. And so then, um, and then she just, she just got in and has stayed and, and she is my mentor. And uh, I have learned many, 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 many things from her. Now our coordinator, um, Sharon, just got her master's of library science and information degree um, um, back like two years ago. So before that, she had a master's in English and a, a teaching degree. And so when she came on um, to this job, as a coordinator, she had that master's and that, and that teaching um, degree um, and then decided to be a true librarian is to have that master's degree. And that's, that's what um, you need to, for that. However, I have a Bachelor of General Studies degree. Um, Brenda, you know, came in as a patron first. And then Ryan, who works uh, mainly teen services, he's working on a Bachelor of General Studies degree. He has a lot of background in sports and um, broadcasting, and um, he started out in the tech department and then decided to move over to youth services over here. So, so that oh, you guys is, have a nice variety. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, you know, coming in, it's not you have to have. It's, it's really, this is what I have. How can I work with this department? So I know you mentioned, um, you know, students being able to start volunteering at the library around 13 years old. Mm -hmm. So for some of our students, if this is a career field that they might be exploring and who knows if they stay in the Cape Girardeau region, what advice would you have for them um, if they, you know, are 18, 19 years old, um, possibly considering this as a career path? Mm -hmm. So I suggest coming to the library all the time as a patron 
when even even at your age coming through and talking with if this is what you want to do uh talking with the people that work there and and getting your face out there so if you want to be at the st louis library and uh at a certain branch and that's where you live go in and talk with the people there so once you at our we're not a branch we're our own library here in cape Girardeau. so you start off as a student you would be in user services and that um, is customer service and like shelving books and that kind of thing you can start that but i can tell you many of our volunteers have gone on to get jobs here in user services because we have already seen their work mm -hmm. and with that volunteer background already we know what kind of what kind of work you would be into so uh so user services grabs people from from um a lot of times from the student side so if you are starting off in college you might go over to user services and start there so that is kind of our ground level up job so you would start with the uh, customer service you would answer phones you would talk with the customers patrons when they come in you would shelf books um and you know uh many 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 other things that uh, just are are not on the top of my head right now however um then like a few of them have gone on to come into an, a department like like youth services or adult services and when a position opens um if you are if you're wanting to get into that more you are in the library and you're seeing what's going on and so you kind of get a feel for what those jobs would be so like for ryan when he came in in tech services um he saw that you know we were having a lot of fun over here in youth services so um he decided to come over on this side and and use his talents uh that way so so that is as far as wanting to get your foot in the door, uh, volunteering is the best way. However, it doesn't have to be the only way. And you can, with a high school degree, come in and be in user services. And, and honestly, even in youth services and adult services, as a part-timer, I would say, with a, with a high school degree once you are in and working it in here you can get to um you know other positions like youth services and and adult services that kind of thing so you mentioned the tech side of things as well so i'm assuming that the library has tech positions um if students have that you know niche for technology or uh, that security portion so can you elaborate a little more about that yeah 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 so our our tech department honestly is now just one person okay. because we're a smaller library and our own entity so the tech department is really um barrett who works with the computers and he gets us going you know the computer i'm on right now talking to you is because he has set it up for us to do that um, but also for the patrons for working with um getting the computers going for them um he does a lot of um behind the scenes um you know taking care of business and but also i like he he is aware of and works through um you know how many books have been checked out in this area what books need to be weeded out so books that have sat on our shelf for years and years and years and haven't been checked out at all we would go to barrett in tech services and say hey give us a list of books that that aren't checking out so he he has a variety in his job because he's working with computers but he's also working with with us in you know how how do i make this work kind of thing um another tech service type job is heather's job where she does the cataloging 
And so every book that comes into our library is labeled and set up in our computer uh, for the catalog, the online catalog. And so she does that. She, um, and that position is one where you sit at the desk and work with books all day. And, and she loves that. Now I need to be with people. And mm -hmm. so youth services is where I needed to be, but tech services and um, working cataloging is more of a behind the scenes. I'm not necessarily doing customer service or working with patrons, but I'm getting the things out to the people how they need to get them. Oh, I love that. I love that. Uh, yeah. You have a lot of passion in your job. So if you had to choose your favorite thing about what you um, just really live for in youth services, what would that be? So the story times are my big love. So um, right now we're doing them online. So through Facebook, we do the story times. But before that, of course, we had them in person. And so families would come in at a set time. So st preschool story time is what Brenda does. And that was at 10 o'clock on Tuesdays. Wednesday and Thursdays, baby book and toddler time were at 11 and are still at 11 on uh, Facebook. But so you pick a theme, you go with the books and the finger plays and the dancing and the music, and you put that all together into a show, into a story time, and then you're, you're on. So you, uh, you read the books, you work with uh, the families, you know, this is how this finger play works and let's get up and dance and now let's sit down and listen to this book kind of thing. That is, that is my greatest love because I love interacting with people. I love getting books in kids' hands and a great way to do that is sh showing them what what books are out there and what you can do with them. So The Three Little Pigs, I'm going to read that book, but I'm also going to show you there's five other fairy tale books that are like that. And here's a finger play to go with it. And then here's a song that you can dance to later kind of thing. So that is my greatest passion. I, I love the story times. I love putting them together. And it, it, it takes it takes some time to get them together and and i use um google slides so i make a slideshow and then from that i i use that as a okay next slide okay now i'm going to read this book and the next slide oh this is the finger play so let's do that together kind of thing but you don't out. see that they see it in person, but on Facebook, you just see me, yeah. and I'm looking off, off camera at the slides. Yeah. So, yeah. That's really awesome. I could tell you're so passionate about that. So, my last question is, um, you know, this can be regarding your career or just advice in general. Um, what would you tell students who are exploring different careers right now um, to think about or, you know, when they are going on this journey? Okay, so it, it all comes back in our, in our job here at the library, volunteering is the best way to see it. Now, when you volunteer, you're not doing story times. That's my job. Mm -hmm. And I get paid to do it, and I love doing it. However, you're seeing the, back, the background, you know, you might be putting Google Slides together for me to use in the story times kind of thing, but you're seeing also what's going on. Mm -hmm. But um, if, if this is what you're wanting to do, you start off by coming to a library and looking at it and coming and using it, utilizing the resources that are already here, but also talking, talking with the with the people that, that work there and uh, if you can get your foot in the door either as a volunteer or as working in user services that's a great way to see if this is what you want to do kind of thing i have been here 12 years like i said brenda's been here 35 uh sharon's been here over 20 and uh, ryan's probably been here i'd say at least at least eight to 10 years. So, you know, it's a really good gig. And it's, it's one that um, if, if you want to do it, you, 
you need to see that it's not all story times. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the, one of the things I do, I have to order uh, books on CD and that's not my favorite thing to do. I know that when I order these books on CDs, the patrons are going to get them and they're going to listen to them. However, it's, it's, it's not my favorite thing to do. Mm -hmm. So each job, no matter what you're looking at, is going to have the fun stuff and the not so fun stuff. But for me, the interaction with patrons, the story times, the working with books um, is, is what keeps me here. I love, I love that part of it. And I can do the, the drudgery because I know that a lot of other stuff is coming and I can do that later. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Renee, for your information. We really appreciate having you. Thank you. All right. Thank you.